So you mentioned, I guess, the, the, the community involvement and how you're helping out the community, but we actually didn't go really into deep detail. Do you do like donations to local like uh, local groups, or how do you guys help out feed the community? I'll let her take this one. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> this I, is her yeah. bread and butter. I, uh, <laughs> I'm really big into supporting people and uh, feeding people. Um, when it comes to this, it, we started off with the Killaloo Friendship Center. Uh, there is mm -hmm. an amazing lady there, the Maritza, that we started out with. Uh, and so we started out with feeding about 150 seniors uh, every second week out in Killaloo. Uh, then we moved into uh, working with Andrew, uh, Andrew Bailey at The mm -hmm. Grind yep. and uh, Deacon Andre. Uh, and then we started doing, helping them with their stuff. So every Wednesday oh, nice. they come in and pick up donations from us. Uh, and then when COVID really happened, we started helping them with different types of Ziploc baggies and drinks and juices and different prepackaged foods to be mm -hmm. able to put into lunch bags. Um, from then, we basically got to know these people and we built our relationships with all of the other organizations around town, which was really, it was really nice. Um, I always tell people it takes a village to raise a healthy, good village. Mm -hmm. um, and you just got to be open and loving to people. And it really, it really worked and people actually believe in what we're doing. And it's so nice to see that the community comes out and supports these things like with right. the food bank and the legion oh my gosh got you a mind was our last one mm -hmm. c pan i could literally list a ton of different things that oh, we wow. do um and um, sorry so these are like donation box at the door kind of what we see right now for like the the food pantry or is it something that you actually take your own personal stock and put it back into those businesses. So we do different types of things. So say if something is damaged, mm -hmm. uh, we take what is damaged, like granola bars and things that we're not able to sell to the public, and we just take those out of the box and we give those to oh, the grind cool. to be able to do things like that. Uh, we are almost at 100% no waste that goes into our bins out the back. Oh, nice. um, we're really big on not wasting at our store. The only thing I like seeing going in to that garbage bin is plastic. Um, we also take any foods that are unable to be donated to human beings for consumption and we donate that to pig farms and to other local farms oh, right. so they can use it as produce, or not produce, sorry, so they can use it as Feed. fertilizer. Yeah. fertilizer. Um, and we try to utilize everything that we're unable to sell to the public to be able to have a bigger impact in the world. We're not only taking things out of landfills, we're putting it into animals' bellies, we're putting it into fertilizer, we're giving mm -hmm. it to children in need we support breakfast programs and all these different things uh, because we re we don't want to see waste it's it's terrible we have a world now where there's people out there that who need to be fed mm -hmm. and we want to make sure that we are the people out there educating people that it's possible to do no matter what oh, you, you just got to put the effort forward right mm -hmm.